Good afternoon, my friends. This is the start of a brand new vlog. I am home from lunch right now. For I am home for lunch right now. Um, I do have to be back to work um, at least by one because my principal and I are going to do a conference call with the lady in accounting about some things. So I have to make sure I am back on time. But I come home for lunch typically every day because you know I'm trying to eat healthy. And I like to normally just eat what I have left over in the refrigerator. Plus, I come home mainly because I have to give Lucky his eye drops. So he has two sets of drops that he has to take twice a day. And one specifically before he goes to bed at night. And then he has, I think, I think two more drops that he just takes once a day. So, I just gave him um, one of the drops that he only has to take once so we're good on that. But like I said, the other ones, whew, it's storming outside too, you guys. Like I said, the other drops, you know, I just give periodically through the day. He gets them when he wakes up. He gets drops when I come home from lunch, when I come home after school, and then when I come in from work at night. So we just give his drops to him around the clock. But um, yeah, it's been storming. It's raining. And I think in the last vlog, I was telling you guys that hopefully I would get a chance to wash my hair that never happened so I don't know when that's gonna happen you know I'm just not even putting a time stamp on it it'll just happen whenever it happens um, so I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work I do have to work tonight I'm not looking forward to that because I have been you guys I have been so sleepy like kind of out of the norm sleepy so I did put a call like um, I sent a message to my doctor to see if I could have some blood work done because I have been anemic at one time and nobody let me know until I called complaining about how tired I was. But I don't know that I necessarily right now feel so tired. It's just I'm sleepy all the time. And I sit at my desk at work and just fight it and nod out. You know, I'm just t so sleepy. But I do have sleep apnea. And I have been using my CPAP machine like I'm supposed to, but, and it definitely helps. Like I can tell when I don't use it, but I still am tired. And so my sleep doctor wanted me to do another sleep study because this one, the first one that I did was so long ago. And she said that they could see that I did not sleep well at all, but because I didn't sleep well, they didn't get a good reading. But... Yeah, I'm waiting to see what she says. I do have my physical in June, so she may just want to do everything, do the blood work and everything then. But, y'all, when I tell you I'm sleepy 24-7, I am sleepy. I think it was Monday night when I got home from work. I was in bed at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. It was still light outside. But I was in bed because I was so tired, and I went right to sleep. I think I woke up probably about 8.30. Cause I didn't even have dinner. So I got up at 8.30. Lucky woke me up at 8.30. And um, so since I was up, I went ahead and grabbed dinner. And I went right back to sleep. So anyway, I just came in here because I put my mask. I put my mask. Um, so I just came in here because I put my mask in the sink to kind of soak. And I'm going to wash them out. So all that makeup... They've been soaking in this water, so I have plenty of them. And I'm probably going to take them out and then put them in the dish, not the dishwasher, but probably put them in the washing machine. So anyway, time is a ticking, and I've got to get back to work because I don't want to be late for this uh, conference call. So I'll check in with you guys a little later. Oh, just so I don't forget, because when I put that last vlog up and went up yesterday, Honey, I had so much footage. I didn't know what day it was. I didn't even know what order to put the clips in. <laughs> and I was so thrilled. So today is Thursday, April 29th. That's just for my benefit. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I am on my way home from work. And when I tell you it is raining cats and dogs out here. Oh my gosh. And guess who has to go to work again? Just guess.
in a little bit in a little bit I'll be right back out in these streets headed to the pharmacy I'll check in with you guys in a minute okay you guys we are back in business I came home to no electricity which I usually park my car in the garage and I was noticing something was weird because the garage door wouldn't even open so I finally figured out that the electricity was out I came home the alarm was beeping, so I've been on the phone with ADT. It's been a whole ordeal, but the lights are back on, and I hope they stay. I was able to get Lucky taken care of, and now I am headed back. Well, I'm headed to work again, so I'll just talk to you guys later. Hi, you guys. I just got in from school, and I have to turn around and go to work again tonight, but... I wanted to let you guys know that um, I got a package in and this is from Nordstrom's now if you had a chance to watch my live I was telling you guys that I was meandering about in Ulta and I this wasn't even on good like it seems like somebody had already opened the tapes not even sticky I was meandering about. I stumbled into the fragrance section because I was really looking for the hair care line by Tracy Ellis, but it seems that they have moved it. And so I found myself in a fragrance section and wasn't looking for fragrance, wasn't checking for fragrance. But while I was there, just picking up stuff, smelling it, seeing if I liked it. And I came across this um, fragrance by YSL. And I was mentioning in my live that it smelled so good, but I was torn between YSL Lib Libre Intense or just YSL Libre. And so I finally, you know, was smelling Libre Intense, smelling just Libre, going back and forth because I didn't know which one I wanted to get. So I finally settled on YSL Libre Intense. Um, both of them smelled really good, but you have to let them dry down. And both of them, you know, just smell so good. And I, uh, I have my samples too. And so, all of this happened, of course, after the sale at um, Sephora. But I went ahead and ordered the YSL Libre Intense from the JCPenney website because I wanted to use, you know, JCPenney Sephora because I wanted to use my JCPenney credit card. And I believe Julia had mentioned in the live that Nordstrom's had the YSL Libre. And so a couple of days later, I never shop at Nordstrom's, never have ordered anything from there in my life. And I found myself on Nordstrom's. I saw, I would think I was looking for YSL Libre and Nordstrom's popped up where I had purchased it already from JCPenney Sephora for $80. Well, Nordstrom's was selling it for $60. Even though I hadn't got a shipping confirmation from JCPenney Sephora or anything, it had been several days. So I went ahead and ordered again from, I ordered it again from Nordstrom's and I went ahead and called JCPenney Sephora and they allowed me to cancel my order since I didn't get, since it was still in process. It hadn't been shipped, it had nothing had happened with it, it hadn't moved nothing. So they let me cancel it and so I, to make a long story short, <laughs> I do have the product that just came today, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. It just smells so good. And I, you know, like I said, I wasn't even checking for perfumes. Don't need any more perfumes. Wasn't trying to add anything to my collection. Nothing. But, um... I went ahead and picked it up because it smells so good. And they were having a lot of fragrances on sale because of Mother's Day. But I only got the one ounce. So cute. And this is the packaging here. And it just smelled so good, you guys. Let's see if I can. And smells so good. Now, what I noticed is I don't think that I have a signature scent. Hmm. 
Mm, it smells so good because I looked at the notes on this fragrance and usually sometimes my notes say something with bergamot sometimes it'll say musk sometimes it'll say patchouli sometimes it'll say vanilla so I'm all over the place with my scents so I don't guess I have a signature scent but um I did want to if this will load I did want to read you what the scents are for this fragrance. Okay, so I have my laptop here, and it does say that the YSL Libre Intense is from the Florals Fragrance family. It says that the scent type is Warm Florals. Key notes are Lavender, Essence, Orange Blossom, and Orchid Accord. And the fragrance description says, the fragrance contains signature notes of Lavender Essence, from France and Moroccan orange blossom combined with glowing orchid and warm vanilla to push this fragrance to the extreme. It is long lasting, sensual twist on the floral fragrance, on the floral fragrance. And it says about the bottle, this perfume is a celebration of freedom. Libre means free. This fragrance is for those who do what they want and dare to be exactly who they are. It draws inspiration from the Couture runways and the It bottle pushes its Couture statement further with a masculine caramel color twisted in the most feminine way, amplifying the intensity of the original bottle. And yeah, that's all it says. And I have to say, I, I love the way it smells. It smells so good. So... Just want to show you the bottle one more time. I don't have any lights on in here. It's getting ready to storm again. So I got to hurry up and scurry to work. But I just wanted to share that with you. And before I go, you guys, I also picked up some samples. I didn't even know Nordstrom's was kind of like Sephora. And you got to pick out some samples as well. So the samples that I chose, if I can open them. I chose the... La Mer, the Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. I picked up this one. And never ever have I tried anything from La Mer. So I wanted to try this. I also picked up, I think they let me get three samples. So I was very excited about that. And they wrapped them up really good. I really wanted four, but I had to only choose three. Okay, so the next one I picked up is uh, Pure Canvas Primer by Laura Mercier. Picked this up. And I heard great things about the primer, so I wanted to try it. And my last sample is Looks like it's a pretty big one. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Oh yeah, they gave a big sample of this. Oh, I'm happy to have that because I've been wanting to try that, but this is expensive. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys before I head out to work. I'm just so so in love with this scent. This fragrance is, oh, get a sample. I bet you'll love it just as much as I do. So anyway, I just wanted to share the things that I was able to pick up from Nordstrom's. Uh, they were having a sale, like I mentioned. So if there's some things that you want to pick up or if you just want to browse the site for Mother's Day, feel free. I think they're still having a sale. So I am going to get lucky situated give him a treat he still has not eaten his food nothing new so i'm just going to give him a little treat and then i am headed out the door because i got to go to work and then just like libre means i will be free for the weekend i'll see you guys later bye <laughs> good morning everybody good morning it is saturday <sighs> and i am headed out the door i well, Lucky and I are headed to the veterinarian clinic. 
He likes to ride with me. As soon as we get there, he doesn't want to get out the car because he thinks that he's there for a checkup or something. But we are headed that way. They close at 12 o'clock on Saturdays. And we're just headed there to pick up his maintenance meds. Have to pick up his allergy tablets. He has allergies just like his mama. And we go to pick up his heartworm medication and his flea and tick. So we're headed out the door to do that because I don't want them to close because he took his last allergy pill yesterday and we don't have one for today. So we're going to run there real quick and get that and hopefully make it back home before it starts to rain. So I will see you guys in the car. Okay, so we are on the way and I got my little sidekick here. And we're probably going to also stop and see if his groomers is open. I know we can't get an appointment today, but I'm going to try to set one up because he hasn't been to the groomers in a bit and he really needs to go. So it's kind of near his veterinarian, so we're probably going to do that. But I will see you guys. Ugh. Why do these people have their water sprinklers on. It's been raining for three days and they got the water sprinkler on. <sighs> anyway, to each his own. But we'll see you when we get there. I am glad that we just have to pick up meds today because this place is packed. And that's typically how it happens. You know, on the weekend your pet always ultimately has something to happen and you have to go and take care of it we are here look at him he just needs to be groomed so bad <laughs> we're gonna get in there so we can get out of here lucky you ready you ready? You got your mask? You got your mask? Oh, yeah. Let's get in here so we can go home. And we are on our way inside. Good morning, or it's probably afternoon by now. I am in the bathroom, finally ready to tackle my hair. Really not ready, but um, I was supposed to do it Saturday. I don't know why I always think I'll get it done on Saturday. When Saturday comes around, I don't want to do anything but rest. But today is Sunday, and hey, baby, bless you. And I got to get it done. But I am so not in the mood that I think I am going to do a wash and go. I've only done that one time ever. <laughs> and I'm so over my hair right now that I think that's just what we're going to do. So I'm going to try to sit here and detangle my hair and then probably shampoo it, put some conditioner in, and then just put a little gel on for my wash and go and then we're just gonna call it a day. <laughs> conditioner well I have this Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil but you know what I don't really I really don't like this conditioner but this is all I have so this is what I'll have to use <laughs> So this is where we are right now. I literally 
don't know what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to have two sides of my hair looking differently. I'm actually thinking that I like this side the best, even though it has less definition. I think it's going to shrink up really nice. And then I think this is going to be too coily. I think, uh, I don't know, but clearly this, I didn't manipulate this side as much. And I don't know, I think I did more to this side. later I just wanted to show you what everything was looking like and you know I said yesterday that I would never do this again you know I'm just gonna say just like when women are pregnant and they have a baby they said nope we're not having it anymore that's it well as soon as they forget the pain they do it again so as soon as I forget how long this took me I may do it again I'll see you guys later hi you guys I am on my way to work. It's 10.04, so I am having a really late start to the day. I had some things go on last night that left me feeling very uneasy. I couldn't sleep. And so I just slept in a little bit this morning. Um, I was sitting at home last night in bed and I heard this tapping on the window in my room. And I looked towards the window, but I didn't hear anything again. So I was dismissive thinking, well, maybe I didn't hear anything. I did get up and look, but I didn't see anything. And at this time, Lucky went outside and he was barking, 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 which, you know, you just never know. So I was just like, oh, what is he barking at? And so I went outside and my neighbor was outside in the backyard talking on the phone. And so I was like, oh, he's just barking at the neighbor, you know, no biggie. But I kept telling him to be quiet, come inside. But he just wouldn't. And then a little while later, my neighbor comes and rings my front doorbell. And he's like, Jackie, it's, an, it's your neighbor, it's your neighbor. And I was a little hesitant because I was like, well, why is he over here? <laughs> Why is he ringing my bell? And he goes on to tell me that somebody hopped my fence in the backyard. It was in my yard. And you guys, this is the second time that this has happened since I lived there. That someone's, you know, been in my backyard. And so I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, no, no. He said it was... A tall black guy he said he kind of had dreads he was kind of lanky he had like um, gray pants or a gray top on and he said he asked him what what are you doing over there you know and the guy didn't respond he just started leaving and then when I got um, I was I was petrified because like I said this is the second time this has happened and when I got 
I had all these tools on my back patio because, you know, I've been working in the yard. So I said, well, you know, anybody could just take these tools and bust your window or whatever. So I decided to go in the backyard and gather up all my tools and put them in the garage. And then I noticed that on the patio was this blue fire starter. You know, those little thick things like if you're lighting um, a candle or if you're trying to make a fire, you just click the thing and, you know, it starts the fire for you. So he, so I guess apparently this guy had left this or had fallen out of his pocket and he left it on my patio. And I was like, what's he supposed to be doing with this? But I guess he probably, you know, if he had gotten in, he probably was going to pretend like it was a weapon or something. I don't know, but I guess, I don't know, just really, I just want to move. I really want to move so bad, but I have so many years invested in this house. I don't really want to start over. You know, I am getting ready to be 59, and I don't want to start over with a new mortgage and whatnot. So I, I just, you know, I don't know. I just really... I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking again that I'm going to maybe have somebody put some floodlights on or some motion detect detection lights all around the house. And I did have that ring doorbell, but it broke. So maybe I'll get that hooked up again. And I don't know. But I... You know, I was kept saying I was going to sign up for the handgun class because I do have a handgun. I just, ugh, just the thought of it. But I think I do need to learn how to shoot it and so I can protect myself. But anyway, I'm almost at school. And I don't even want to talk about this anymore because I just don't know. So anyway... Anyway, I am wearing the, <laughs> to flip the script, I am wearing the new Wear Beauty Foundation. Now, when I put this foundation on, you guys, I was like, oh, geez, this is definitely the wrong color because it was looking really dark. And by the time I finished putting my makeup and stuff on and I went in my other bathroom that doesn't tell me any lies, it looked really good. But let me tell you, all the products that I use on my face, you know I like a luminous product. But girl, I was looking quite dewy, quite dewy between the primer that I chose for my Shop My Stash, this Rare Beauty, my serum. Ah, your girl was looking dewy. I, I just, I went in with my MAC uh, Fix Plus in matte and I just doused my face <laughs> with it because, whew, I don't know. But I do, I was putting the, um, I was putting the Rare Beauty, Beauty back in my purse so I was going to take it and try to exchange it for a lighter shade. But after I looked in the mirror and saw that um, everything was looking good, except for my under eyes. Oh, and I have the um, Born This Way concealer on. I just probably, I'm probably going to be crease city because like I said, I was just looking too dewy today. I have the Born This Way concealer on and I have the Huda Beauty um, powder on in Kanafa. And I forgot my eyebrow pencil because I just put it in my shop, my stash video yesterday and didn't put it in my purse. So I, have, I will have no brows today. But um, I also... What else was I going to say? Oh, and I also have the new Natasha Denona palette, that Cool Tone palette. I have that on my eyes today that I got with my Boxy Charm. So I'm just going to wear everything and see how it holds up. But um, I don't know. I'm just looking, I was looking really dewy, and I still do see my face is looking a little dewy. So I don't know how everything's going to wear today, but it should be interesting. Y'all, let me just tell you this one more thing before I get out the car. I 
I just, oh, I did not want to leave Lucky at home today because if somebody comes there, he might get out, they might hurt him. So I'm so apprehensive. I'm going to be going home to check on him just to make sure. Or if my house alarm goes off, I'm definitely going to scurry home. Oh, let me tell you this. Um, I did call the police last night and tell them that somebody was in my backyard. My neighbor came to let me know and I described them. And they said, well, ma'am, there's nothing we can do. Uh, if he's already left, you know, there's no way that we would be able to find him. I was like, so that's it? The last time somebody uh, was in my backyard, the police came out. I mean, that was several years ago, but the police came out. They looked around because the people, um, the guy had said that he was in my bedroom window again. But the guy had said that my dogs had gotten out. And so the police went and walked the fence. And he's like, there's no way your dogs were out. I said, yeah, I know. I said, he was just trying to see if anybody's home and I think that's the same thing again because I parked my car in the garage and you know but you can clear the because I have this like contact paper up so you can't really see but the Sun has um, crackled it so you could see if you wanted to if you're really looking you can see that there's a car in there so I mean I don't know but um, like I said I just don't want to leave my baby at home so Y'all just pray for us. I have some decisions to make and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to get into the building. I'm very late today, but my principal, I had texted her last night, so she understands. She called to check on me earlier, so I'm going to go in. I'll, get, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning. I don't even want to tell you what day this is because you know how I drag a vlog out. But I wanted to let you know that I am on my way to the ammo store. Like, who am I? But I'm going to the ammo store to pick up some ammunition for my weapon because my pharmacy manager is taking me to the range on Monday and we're just going to practice. So he wants me to get familiar and practice. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know who I am. But I do feel like this is definitely, for me, a necessity. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, and when I get back, I have something to show you guys. And I'll show you my ammo. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys it's me <sighs> never mind me I'm trying to get some things done so I can lay down my back is killing me my wash and go didn't last very long so last night I just retwisted it um, and just put some Bantu knots in it so this is my preferred method anyway like I mentioned when I was doing the wash and go because it just gives it that wave and then you also have that twist look so this is my preferred method. I am exhausted, so I decided to try to get some chores done before I lay down because my back is killing me. You guys know how it is when you have maybe four, four days worth of chores to do and you try to get it in on the weekend. That's what I've been doing. I've been washing clothes nonstop. I've been mowing grass and now my back hurts and I'm just tired. So I just folded up the last of the clothes. I still have clothes in the dryer. I need to put one more load on or maybe two, but it's not happening tonight. So I decided to just go ahead and start dinner so um, I can rest. That's the plan. So I'll show you what I'm making. 
we're not having anything too elaborate what i have going on right now is just some turkey meat and a little corner and i mean just a corner of some hamburger meat i try not to eat too much beef um because you know cholesterol and so what we're having is spaghetti i don't use the well first like i said i have the turkey meat in here i just put some garlic powder some season all and some pepper in here for my spices and i chopped up some onion now i don't use like i don't make homemade spaghetti sauce no ma'am and i don't use like prego or ragu because you talk about acid reflux so i usually just use like a packaged sauce this is not my preferred one the preferred one that i like to use comes with mushrooms in it but when i tell you i'm not going to the store i'm not going to the store i'm going to start using what i have because i cannot be making these heb runs every other day so we're not doing mushrooms today and then we're just going to put some noodles in when i put this um when i put this spaghetti mix in um then i'll just add some more seasonings to it but yeah, we're going to have spaghetti tonight so I can clean up this kitchen and we're going to go lay down. So I just wanted to show you what I plan on making for dinner. And I'll, I'll keep you posted and walk you through the process. Okay, I kind of have you guys propped up a little bit. I'm going to start adding my ingredients. So this is the sauce mix. I think I'll cut this open. Okay. Add that in. And then we're going to add, it says two and a fourth cups of water. Add this into the mix. And this is this sauce. It really looks like it's homemade because it doesn't have that really red, rich flavor or look to it. So I add this in. Now it does say to add a full can of tomato paste. I don't do that. I do not do that at all. I add some tomato paste, but again, I do not want to have that acid reflux going on. So I don't add the full can. And this is probably going to be all that I add. But see, I still have plenty in there. I would just play it by ear. And then I do add tomato sauce. Because I'd rather have that than the tomato paste. And then the recipe and now that I have the water and everything in there I like to go back in with my seasonings the, the meat was uh, seasoned but now that I've added the water and the sauce. I like to just season it a little bit more. And this is the seasoned salt. Add a little bit more pepper. And 
And then of course, always have to have this garlic salt, or sorry, garlic powder. And I'm really being lazy because I could have gone in with um, fresh garlic cloves, but it's not that kind of day. I'm trying to do the least so I can get in bed. Here we go with some oregano. Just gonna sprinkle some of this in. And I don't measure, I just sprinkle. And then we have some Italian seasoning. parsley. I don't even have any salad for the spaghetti because I eat salad for lunch. And then I have about a teaspoon of just white sugar. I'm not, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. Just to make sure the acidity is cut and then it said a tablespoon of, of oil and you know that's just up to you but I am going to drizzle just a little bit And then I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so it can start to simmer and come to, not a boil, but, you know, the simmering process. And then I'll turn it down and cover it. Oh, I'm going to have to take a peel because my back is hurting. And once that starts simmering, then I'll turn it down and cover it. Okay, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay, as you can see, it is starting to simmer. And what I'll do, um, like, you, like I told you, I did not use the whole can of tomato paste what I'll do is I'll watch it and if it's not the consistency or the thickness that I want then I may just add a little bit more but I typically don't because like I said I don't want that so much acidity that the tomato paste will give so I don't So I have my lid right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up and turn it down. So it's going to be on like three, and I'll just let it simmer. And then here's the spaghetti that I'll put on when it gets closer to time. And that's it. Okay guys, this recording is not working to my good today. I don't know why. I keep thinking I'm recording and I'm not. So recap. <laughs> I turned my spaghetti sauce off because it is done. And then I put a pot of boiling water on, sprinkled a little salt in there. I also went in with some vegetable oil, drizzled a little bit of that in. And I put my spaghetti noodles in. And I always, I put probably like three of these in and I snap my noodles in two I don't leave them whole I always you know break them apart and put them in 
and then I'm just going in with my stirrer just to stir them so they don't stick together. And then dinner will be ready. So I'm gonna let this hang out and I'll see you guys when I plate my food. Okay, my noodles are done. I've drained them. I don't rinse them, I just drain them. And I'm just going to put them in a bowl right here. I don't, some people will go ahead and put their sauce on top and just stir it together, but I don't do that. I like my sauce separate from my noodles and that's kind of weird because I like everything mixed together, but I don't like that for my sauce. And what I usually will do is again, go in with a little olive oil on top. Because I don't like my noodles to stick together. So I'll just pour a little olive oil on there to keep, keep them from clumping and sticking, the, sticking together. And then that's basically it, you guys. Um, when I get ready to eat, of course, I will take my little in the dishwasher. I'll take my little ladle, put my noodles on, and then ladle on my spaghetti sauce. May sprinkle on a little bit more parsley, and then I'll put some Parmesan cheese on top, and that'll be it. And like I said, I will show you my final plate, but I just wanted you to see what I made and what I was cooking for dinner today. And yeah, my sauce is just hanging out until it's time for me to eat. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'll be back later. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> I'm telling you guys I'm really not ready for dinner right now. But I went to the cabinet to get me a little snack. Have you guys had these before? This is the Ghirardelli white chocolate caramel squares. Somebody, well, first of all, I told you guys... I think I told you guys that I am not a chocolate lover. Um, chocolate, chocolate has such a harsh taste to me. I just, I am just not a chocolate lover whatsoever. But now I can get down with this white chocolate. And you know caramel is my all-time favorite. So um, we did, somebody gave me this for secretary's sake because they knew I didn't like the chocolate. And I think I need me a little pick-me-up right now. Now, secondary stay was a couple of weeks ago, and I still have three left. So, I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good, right? I have three left. Well, two now because I'm getting ready to have one. But <laughs> I wanted to share that with you. And I also wanted to mention, you know, where I left off yesterday is I was going down to the um, gun range to get the ammo because my uh, pharmacy manager is taking me to the range tomorrow to practice and this will be the first time that I've actually gotten a chance to shoot my own weapon. I've been to the gun range once before but I had the wrong ammo for my gun so I didn't get to actually use it so I shot with my niece and one of our friends. I used their weapons and I got a little practice or I got to fire it and so tomorrow will be the first time that I actually get to use my own gun. Now, I was going to sh uh, show you, because I've got ammunition to practice, and I have ammunition for the actual gun, and the gentleman was telling me, you know, I might want to kick it up a notch as far as the weapon that I have. He said, but first practice, he said the weapon that I have probably would stop a person and, you know, of course stop them, but he says I may have to fire again to get the job done. <laughs> oh, it just sounds really horrible. And I, that's why I decided not to actually show you the ammo or show you the weapon because I know this topic 
can probably be very controversial. You know, some people are anti-guns and some people are all about them. I am not all about them. And I don't want to make it controversial, especially on my channel. However, um, you know, I told you guys a story about I've had someone in my backyard twice. And, you know, I have privacy fence and both of the gates are locked. So if somebody comes in my backyard, they, they come in my backyard intentionally, you know, for no good. Because you can't just, I mean, you have to hop the fence to get on there and like to get in the backyard. And then, like I said... Lights were on, TVs on, and somebody's knocking on your bedroom window. I mean, I just, you know, I, I guess it's controversial if maybe nothing like that has ever happened to you or worse. But, you know, I do, um, oh, Lucky, no, you're not getting it, you're not getting this. <laughs> so, I do, um, I do feel the need to, you know, try to protect myself. And I don't want it to become a big anti or pro thing about weapons or whatever. So that's why I chose not to show it on my channel. I just wanted to tell you about it. But I do have a few little scenes from me at the uh, place, you know, getting the ammunition. But of course, it's just actual facility. And maybe um, tomorrow when I go, maybe I can get some more clips. But of course, I'm not going to have my pharmacy manager, you know, vlog for me. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to do that. But I just wanted to let you know where that stood because I didn't come back on yesterday showing you what I had picked up or anything. But um, hopefully tomorrow I'll feel more comfortable. And that's what I want to achieve tomorrow is that I'm more comfortable with my weapon and I have a working knowledge of how to use it. And then you know, I won't have to have my pharmacy manager come with me. You know, he's really good at, um, he's had classes at his home because he lives on this big farm and he's really comfortable. He's really, you know, good with weapons. But hopefully I get to the point where, you know, if I feel I want to go to the range, I can just go by myself. I won't have to have him come with me each and every time. So hopefully after tomorrow, I'll have that comf comfortability that I can just go by myself and that's something that I'm definitely going to do. I'm just going to keep going and going and going. So not that I'm an expert shooter, but I want to be well adversed on how to protect myself. And again, have that com that comfortability. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not afraid of my own weapon. So I don't want to continue to harp on that or anything because, you know, like I said, I'm not very comfortable with the topic or with this whole ordeal. So anyway, cheers. So chewy good. This caramel is the bomb. And I also wanted to show... Oh, let me tell you. an update, you guys. Since I've been wearing that YSL Libre perfume, Intense, I have gotten so many compliments. That stuff is a bomb diggity. It smells so good. I've gotten a lot of compliments on that. Um, Another one of the partners at the pharmacy... So, I mean, she really liked that one better than the Lancome one that I had. I can't even remember the name of it, but it's the Lancome one, which I like a lot. But she says she likes the YSL better than that one. So. Okay, you guys, I am getting ready to have my dinner. Here is my spaghetti. Looks so good. So, let me do that real quick. So the Parmesan cheese that I was going to put on the spaghetti was bad, molded. I don't know how long it's been in there. So then I went to get the other bag because I had two bags. I don't even remember when I bought it, um, but it was bad too. So I have this artificial Parmesan cheese that um, I went ahead and sprinkled on top thinking that I was recording. So I just sprinkled this on top of my spaghetti. I already sprinkled it, so I don't want to go too heavy on it. And again, this is what my spaghetti looks like. So good, you guys. I already took a bite, but you know, I don't mind. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more. 
even though I had some on there previously. And let's have a taste test. And you guys, I was saying that today is Mother's Day. So I do want to wish each and every one of you a happy Mother's Day. Whether you're a mother through foster care, adoption, natural childbirth, or if you're a mother, such as myself, to a fur baby, happy Mother's Day to everyone. With that said, this is going to be the end of our vlog, but let's do a taste test. I already tasted it, but it's so good, you guys. So good. Like I said, I love spaghetti, and I should have made, but maybe I shouldn't have. I was going to say, I had some bread. I could have made some garlic bread or garlic toast. But who needs the extra calories? Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. This is so good. And usually when I make spaghetti, even though I season it, Lucky's looking at me. <laughs> He's hanging on every word. But even though I season it, I still have to go in with like some more salt. This needs nothing else. This is so good. I really do. Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm going to close off the blog. <laughs> I can have dinner. Have my water. My baby over here. Okay, so with that said, I am closing out the vlog. I'm sorry I'm looking crazy at the end of the vlog, but it is what it is. So thank you so much for joining me for another glimpse into my life. If you did enjoy the vlog, this time is much shorter than it was the last time. So um, if you did enjoy the vlog, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this vlog a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that a vlog or a video goes up. And share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next vlog or video. Take care and have a good evening. Bye-bye, guys. Hi, you guys. It is the next day, and I know that we have already closed out the video, but I wanted to hop back on. Listen, I don't know what's going on with this here. I really don't know. My little hairstyle was a big fail but anyway we're not here for that i wanted to let you guys know that i did go to the range today and i wanted to um show you my target um my instructor gave it to me to take home so i wanted to show you how i did mind mindful of the fact that this was my first time ever firing my weapon um he let me use his first and then i got to use my own so it's been several years since I even fired one, so keep that in mind. Let me show you what the target looks like. Okay, you guys, here it is. Now, both of us fired, because uh, he wanted to fire my weapon, just so he can see how it, you know, how it shot. So, but this is what I am most proud of, because this is all me. This is me. This was him. Because he was noticing that the first thing that I was shooting at was the C. And he said I was all in that area. But then when he pushed the target back. And no, when he let me use my own weapon. Then I was kind of off centered. And so he fired it. And it was pulling to the right a little bit as well. See mine went to the right as well. But the more I practiced, I had some mishaps. And um then some right here but he says the more i practice the better i'll get he said but the main thing is that i am hitting the body but i was so happy with this one right here so he told me to take it home and hang it on my door and just keep practicing and he would come back out there with me as well to uh 
fire and keep instructing me as well. So I just wanted to hop back on and let you know how I uh, performed on my first day at the range. So that's all you guys. I just wanted to let you know how everything went because I know I mentioned yesterday that I was going to be going to the range and just practicing. So he did first before we even went inside, he gave me a lot of safety tips and made sure I understood. And then I got to hold my gun because I had been terrified of it. So I got to actually hold my weapon, see how to handle it, see how to load it, see, you know, if there's um a um if there's a bullet in the chamber, I just got to be a little bit more familiar. So now I feel like I'm a whole lot more comfortable with it. So I just wanted to hop on and say that little tidbit of information. It is Monday. I hope this vlog will be up on Wednesday. So um, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I sure appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.